Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today is going to be mega. My friend Mike, Shin Mike Yin, has bought this insane Apollo IE, the Apollo Intensa Emozioni. And today I'm going to be hopping on board with him for a run here at the home of the Belgian Formula One Grand Prix at Spa Francorchamps in this crazy thing. Behind it we have the Zonda F, the very car that I joined with Mike and actually drove myself at about 200 miles per hour down the autobahn. Well today is going to be all about the feel of this thing, the naturally aspirated V12 screaming away as we head around Spa. That sounds like a winning combination to me. Let's catch up with Mike, have a proper look around the car and then it's going to be time to get out on track to experience it at the fullest. Mike, how are you doing? Good, good, good. Good to see you again. You too. Congratulations on your new acquisition. Thank you. Thank you. And you've been driving it already today? Yes. It was it great fun. <laughs> great fun? <laughs> great Understatement fun. of the year? Well, I mean, it's very different, I'll say. It's, it's very wild. different than the other cars I've driven, I'll say. Yeah. I mean, okay, standing here, this is the first time I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I've seen all the pictures you've shared of it. I've seen everything about <laughs> it. And I've been lucky to see a couple of the Apollo IEs before. Your car is mad. You've got a nickname? Red Dragon, I'll say. I All of them are dragons, so this one being the only red one out it's of the, the only ten. red one? Yep. Okay, so... And make sure this is the only red one. So, there are ten of them in total. Yes. Yours is number... Eight. Number eight. Had to be. I know the design, obviously, was heavily influenced by nature, by insects, by animals, and the wildness of it is just crazy. But you spent a lot of time on the paint, <laughs> on the fades, on the exposed yes. carbon, to make it perfect. Yeah, even that stage is... Apollo say, hey, my, maybe we should do a different spec, but the paint was so difficult even for them to do. Because you've got the fades on the clear carbon and on the paint. I mean, the whole body is carbon. Yep. Um, the interior, the red and black, I suppose, matches perfectly with the exterior. The seat's directly in the tub. And I mean, I've, I've heard it while you've been out. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds insane. It, yeah, it sounds really good. Quick fact check, 6.3 liter of naturally aspirated V12. We have 800 odd horsepower. We have 760 Newton meters. We have this, I mean, the, whole, the design of this thing's just mad. The exhaust <laughs> system back here. Even this exhaust is a little bit different than the other ones. Oh, really? Yeah, I made sure it's burned to purple bluish, okay. plus some gold accent as well. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I see that. Got the gold accents. They right actually the tested it with two other ones. So this is the third one they put. The okay. final one. The final system. Yes. And we're about to be deafened because these. Oh. That was that was two Pagani Huayra R's. You have one of those inbound. I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> it's frustrating that mine isn't here. Soon, it's, soon, soon, soon. Yes. Um, having been lucky to drive it, it's amazing. You're going to enjoy. Yep. Um, this is part of the Curbstone track events day. We have the mix of the super sports cars and also the Art in Pista sessions that Pagani are running. Uh, I mean, this thing, it's just, it's just mega. It's just absolutely insane. So I guess You've already been out, but I've not been out. <laughs> so we need to get ourselves ready to go for a, for a little ride. Of course, let's go. This is gonna be mad. Yep, let's go. I am one of the very spoilt guys who's been lucky to be here with Pagani. Driving in one of those, the Pagani Huayra Rs. Two of the 30 that they will make just blasting past us down the start straight and you hear them as they make their way around through the hills. They will park back up in the pit boxes in just a moment. We're also, by the way, going to be in the IE following the Zonda F. Both of Mike's cars coming out for the drive here very shortly. So, looking forward to this one. Let's get everything ready. The sound through the hills, just extraordinary. And take these two out in just a moment. Bring it on. Right, time to strap in. Long sleeves. Yeah, make sure the door latch is open, then close the door. Yep. Let's go. Wow. You lie so far back in here. Yeah, you're basically laying down. And I think we have to actually like really shout at each other. Yes. <laughs> this is idling, so just... We, yeah. We're only Full at on 1,000 RPM. So... The seating position is ridiculous. <laughs> I said we're waiting for the lead car, the Zonda. We're going to be chasing your Zonda. Yes, in the front. There are worse things to do. <laughs> Have you had the two on track together before? No, first time together. First time together, that's yeah. cool. All right, Go the Zonda ahead. is out. 
into gear, sequential. Those thunders. Oh, that pulls away smoothly. Yeah. Either you got good at it. <laughs> My word. Okay. I feel the rawness already. I feel the sense of occasion. I can't hear you already. <laughs> I can't hear anything. <laughs> oh. Gearbox noise is just an insane thing to listen to. This is where I really hope that you can hear what we say. Otherwise, it's a problem, but we're enjoying the B12. So life is good. Life is very good. Right, out we go.
That was really cool. Now it's your turn. My turn? Yes. We're going out for my turn? Yes. Let's go. Okay. I'm down for that. <laughs> Let me get this done. Woo! Mike just casually announces that we're swapping and now it's my turn to drive the Apollo IE here at Spa. I don't mind if I do. Let's hop on in and let's go do this. Here we are then. No pressure. Can I move the steering wheel? Yeah, sure. This. Okay, there. Oh, wait. There. <laughs> Lock it in. Locked. Okay, so all I need to know is clutch into gear. And out we go. Very easy. You sure about this? <laughs> Here we go then. Belt up tight. Down the old pit lane. Getting ready. <laughs> You're a bad man, but I love it. All right, out we go.
Okay, hot and sticky. Let me try and work out how to climb out of here. Whee! <laughs> I've just driven an Apollo IE at Spa Francorchamps. That's the stuff of dreams. Absolute dreams. I... Head is scrambled. That's more race car than many other or any other road car I've driven. That is so raw and visceral involving the gearbox whine, the sound from the engine, the downshifts, the fact that it's got a race six speed auto box. Holy moly, I'm just... It's gonna need a little bit of thinking time, that one. Just, I, I don't really know what else to say. Just, that's, that's, I don't know how it's a road car. It feels like a GT3 car. It feels more like a race car in some ways than some of the actual race cars I've driven. It's that level of extreme. It's that completely different type of thing to any other car with plates. I've never seen a car. This is like a modern CLK GTR, which makes sense because it's from HWA. They've teamed up for the final stages of the development with HWA to get that, um, who were the team behind the CLK GTR and the team behind the AMG race cars. Makes complete sense when you think of it that way, right? Right, let me have a few minutes, grab some sugar plenty of water and we'll come back for some more thoughts. It's getting pretty noisy around here. Donker boards are running as well. That's looking amazing in the sunshine. And then two GT3 doing plenty of laps. More donker boards out on track. Fabulous machine to drive out in this kind of place. Lots and lots of race teams and race cars. In fact, what's coming now? Here we've got some Porsches. Sounds like Porsches blasting up. Sound of the flat sixes, over oh, the R35, but also Mike is off in his Zonda F. We'll go do some laps with that. How cool is this? Hop out of the Apollo AE, hop into the Pagani to go do some laps with both out on track. <laughs> Enjoying the afternoon, the last few sessions. Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. Very cool. And then two GT3s do look the part, and the Huayra R's in the sunshine being staged for some photos and videos and things. I'm just mesmerized by that. Looking at it even from here, it's just a crazy, crazy machine. I mean, look at it. If you didn't know that was a car that could be driven on the road, you'd look at it and just wonder what on earth is this thing? Who made that? How? What? Why? More Porsches sailing by here at Spa with this view. Lambo STO. It's probably a stock exhaust. Oh, race car. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
That's amazing. A couple of minutes just standing here, watching the cars on track, watching the cars in the pit lane, and having a good time. It's when you look up closely, though, at the, well, both design of the car, but also at the spec and options that Mike has for this. For example, you go through from this brilliant metallic red. It's a stunning color. And the way it fades away up here, up over the top of the bonnet, to the exposed carbon, obviously the whole bodywork being carbon fiber, but to do that paint fade. And then similarly, on the outer sections, it fades from this tinted red lacquer and painted sections here through to the exposed black carbon that then runs over towards the top of the whole cabin and along the back of the car, fading back towards the red again. To do all of that takes so many hours of work, but also of planning to even decide it in the first place. You've got the brighter painted accents that highlight and accentuate some of the aero, matching red calipers and red center caps on the wheels as well, pinstripes around the front aero, the front splitter. It's all brilliantly brought together all these different areas and that's obviously just a quick glance at the outside come around towards the back I'm not even sure exactly what that is that went past the same thin stripes on these areas back here the paint coming through i.e badging up on the very top just everything about the rear of this thing look at the size of the wing look at the way it hangs out and wide at the back of it it's totally bonkers this kept in the normal naked carbon, more red pinstripes along that piece that goes towards the snorkel. I like the lipstick around the top of the snorkel as well, obviously for the cooling and airflow and towards the engine there. It's all very, very crazy. GT3s pass us. What an amazing thing. What a cool thing that Mike is here and actually driving it. In fact, I don't know, but he's probably out there on track at the moment wander out this way, all the pit garages with all the different cars. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse of the Zonda that heading past on the pit speed limiter. Oh, what timing! <laughs> what fabulous timing! STO is on it. Cars are back around. We have the return of the Zonda parking behind the Huayra R. Just an amazing, amazing display of cars. And in fact, it's not even just the Huayra Rs, there's also a Zonda R lurking in the pit garages just here as well with the other Huayra Rs. They are back. It is late in the day. I think we need to start wrapping things up. I can't quite believe that today I have driven an Apollo IE. I've been in one before, I've been lucky to be a passenger before with my friend Barry out in Miami. But today, thanks to Mike, I've experienced this crazy thing and it is so close to full race car for a road car. It does boggle the mind ever so slightly. You have to look at it as just being something that's completely wacky and out there. It's just completely like, whatever, just go wild, let your imagination run free. That is what you end up with, the Apollo IE. And I've been, I guess, with this car throughout, having seen it prior to it even being introduced, having been there to be able to share with you guys when they did actually launch it. As the Zonda cruises on by, I think just a cool down pit run. Um, and then of course, having seen them at various different events, I've seen, I think I've seen the two factory prototypes. I've seen Barry's car, the ML, the yellow one. I've seen this car. I don't even know if maybe some more than that, but at least five, um, out of the 10 plus two prototypes, I believe, or one prototype that remains. Yeah, cool experience, really cool experience. Huge thanks to Mike, Shin Mike Yin. Link is down below, as always. What a day here at Spa with Curbstone, with the Apollo IE, and now with the session coming to an end and all of the cars coming past us, just to top it all off. Totally, totally, totally bonkers. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support an awful lot. I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.